Canberra. To some, it's just plain beautiful with its ordered layout, its wide tree-lined streets and its fine sense of neat and tidy. To others, it exists solely as the place from which the tedious business of bureaucracy is run. This is home to the bear pit of Parliament. And if I've read the mood of the Australian electorate correctly, we're a bit sick and tired of the schoolyard antics of our bickering politicians. All roar and no bite. Perhaps it's time we fed them to the lions, or at least found a more stimulating bear pit. Did I really say a more stimulating bear pit? This is not quite what I had in mind. I'm feeling like bear bait, marinating. I'm right in the heart of Canberra. This is my lodging for the night. I'm bathing in the bear pit at the luxurious Jamala Wildlife Lodge located in the grounds of the National Zoo. It's a five-star slice of Africa with some very peculiar accommodation options, among them the bear bungalow. Or you can take your pick from a range of exotic and potentially deadly animals to spend the evening with in one of the other five jungle bungalows. You're just so close to them and just watching how they're digging for their food and yeah. you know it's not just about the zoo I suppose, it's, they're there in your, next to you in your room just about, you know, so that's an experience in itself. There's also the giraffe treehouse suites where you can shower with a mosaic version of the long necked creature and if you're lucky maybe even get to feed the real thing from your balcony. Now this is the kind of thing that gives this zoo the edge. It's one thing to be able to view these exotic and often endangered species up close, but to be able to do this, this is just really special. What an amazing animal. Hello. Outside the terraces, there's some resident llamas, and beyond the gates, you're right in the thick of the zoo. <laughs> then there's Ushaka Lodge, the main meeting point for guests staying at Jamala. With a shark tank running through the lounge room, monkeys on the terrace and an outdoor area with wet edge pool. Ushaka has several room types, but the master suite is the big winner with families. With two oversized bedrooms and bathrooms, it's bigger than the average home and still within excitingly close proximity to the wildlife. As well as a hands-on introduction to the lodge, oh, it's so soft up here, is it? It's so this soft. is very, very soft, very smooth scales. Guests are invited to two behind-the-scenes tours, run each morning and afternoon. What sort of rhinos are they? So these are white rhinos, southern white rhinos. With senior zookeeper Renee Ostolo leading the way, it's a glimpse into a side of the zoo not always seen by day visitors. Oh, big bread. They're quite um, leathery, aren't they? They are very leathery. Quite soft around the ears, the back of the, the ears, and also oh, yeah. the backs of their legs. Oh, look at that, that's like solid. And you can see their hair follicles as well, little hairs, if you run your hand over it lightly. Oh, yeah. Feels like more leathery and hairy um, and scaly all at the same time. This is our native walkthrough. So we have a lot of animals that kids can come and interact with on a daily basis. Despite their reputation, Renee assures me, dingoes can be very gentle animals. In captivity, obviously, these guys are just like your domestic dogs. They're really quite, you know, settled and calm around us. They've uh, been brought up around humans, so therefore, they understand that we're not going. We're not a threat to them. We're yeah. not going to hurt them. Yeah. So we've got Lewis, our young. He's only Lewis. around two years of age. He's a, a Tassie Devil, and he's ready for his dinner snack. Throw it in, as if they're out in the wild. As if there we go. This is not a very big marsupial. No. But you can feel the strength of the guy right yeah, here. Exactly. And the, the jaws lock on and he's not letting go. <laughs> Just been reading the board there and they call a group of 30 or more of these mere cats a mob or a gang or a clan. I'm not happy with that. Look at them. They're inquisitive little things. So how about an inquisition? 
or a twitch, or an asylum, or a rehab, perhaps. And just when you think there couldn't possibly be any more animal interaction to pack into the day, three dinner drinks are served overlooking the lion's den, with a hyena feed thrown in for good measure. A delightful three-course meal follows in the rainforest cave and, of course, the lions linger as we dine. It's a little bit weird yes. as I sit here choosing from the menu. They seem to be sitting there choosing from theirs. I'm clearly on theirs. Hello.